So hello YouTube and welcome to another video. In this week's video I'm going to show you some of the books that I've been reading that I really thoroughly enjoy and I hope you really enjoy the video. So the first book that I want to talk about is The Amazing Book is Not on Fire which is by Dan and Phil. Now this book has just basically got everything about Dan and Phil's lives, how they got to where they are, how they started off their careers in YouTube and just everything that they've done along the way and I find it very insightful for people that I look up to to see what they've been doing behind the scenes that we as viewers don't get to see. And the next book is Dan and Phil Go Outside, which is also by Dan and Phil. And basically within this book, it tells us a little bit more about what their live shows are about, again, what they do behind the scenes, and it's really insightful to look at. Personally, I would recommend both of these books as someone who is a fan of Dan and Phil because it gives you a lot more insight into their lives that we don't get to see. The next book that I want to talk about is The Scribblings of a Madcap Shambleton by Noel Fielding. This basically details quite a lot of Noel's art and stories behind the art that he creates and it's very interesting to see because we always see that Noel Fielding's a very outgoing kind of person with the way he dresses and the comedy that he writes but also the art that he produces is very intriguing and different to anything else we've really seen. The next book I want to talk about is the Diggy Diggy book which is from the Oggscast. I'm a massive fan of the Oggscast. I watch a lot of their videos. I love a lot of their content. What I like most about this book is you can see some of the content from the videos actually put into this book. For example, Hold Space to Slow Down is specifically around one of Simon Lewis and Duncan's Minecraft series, which I really thoroughly enjoyed watching. The next book I want to talk about is Feel Good 101 by Emma Blackery. What I like most about this book is she gives a big insight into her life as she was growing up and a lot of things that she's never shared on YouTube. And I really enjoy looking into her life and seeing what she's had to go through and how I can compare what I've been through to how she's also coped with it. The next book I'd like to talk about is Secrets for the Mad by Dodie or Dodie Clark, better known as Doddleoddle on YouTube. What I really like about this book is Dodie's very good at music and I like the way she has used her music within her book to also come off stories which have actually been inspired for her music. I also like Emma Blackery's book, like to see how she's lived her life and what she's had to put up with in her life and grow up with and how I can also relate to that. The next two books I want to talk about are from Shane Dawson and these are called I Hate My Selfie and It Gets Worse. Worse. What I really like about Shane's books is like his content on YouTube, his books are exactly the same. He's not afraid to share his opinion, he's not afraid to basically talk about his life and a lot of the stories that he has talked about in his books he's already shared on YouTube but there are a few that we've never heard of before and I know Shane always likes sharing his life with us and that's what I really love about the books is how open and honest he can be within the books. The last two books aren't related to YouTube but kind of are. So the last two books are Five Nights at Freddy's themed and these are called The Silver Eyes and The Twisted Ones. Now if you're a fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise like I am, these books basically intertwine with the series. So specifically with The Silver Eyes, it talks about 10 years after the horrific scenes at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, the Silver Eyes book comes into play, but there are a lot of bits that interrupt relate with other parts of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Whereas with the Twisted Ones book, it's only a year after the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza incident. So basically they all intertwine and parts of the stories all interrelate with each other. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and you can leave in the comments any other videos you'd like me to make. And I'll see you later YouTube. Bye!